club photographers are some of the most evil people on earth. I'm sure we can all agree on that. But today, we're going to be taking a look at some of their finest handiwork. There's this Twitter account called Chaotic Nightclub Photos, and it is probably my favourite Twitter account at the moment. He does not look impressed. He... <laughs> Or he just wants to go home and play Lego Star Wars. And you know what? I, I, I feel you. I'm the same. I, I, I feel exactly the same. He's all dressed up ready to go to church. He looks like a nut. He doesn't look like a creepy club dweller old man. Because every club has like that one old man that's just always there for some reason on his own just staring at the girls. He doesn't seem that he's dressed up. He's got his nice tie on. What's he doing? What are you doing, Gerald? Go home to your wife. If she's still alive. But a lot of the time I can't even get him with training. How are you bringing an alpaca into a club? How do you... Oh, that's fucking grim. Surely that's not a night. That's like a football stadium or something. What drugs would you have to take to possess you to do that? That is foul. You've definitely got some kind of disease now. I don't know why they always feel a need to upload photos like this. Like these people, they obviously do not want this to be photographed and uploaded on the internet for everyone to see. It is my biggest fear that I have been caught off guard in a club at, at, by by one of these evil bastards, and there is just like a really awful photo of me somewhere that is that is bound to go up on this page at some point. I'm terrified. I lie awake at night trembling at the thought of it. Again, why do photographers feel a need to, to photograph moments like that? Okay, all right. At first look, I thought she was like biting his lip. Why is she biting his chin? That It's not very hot and sexy to bite someone's chin. It's just a bit weird. Ah. Uh. Something about this just this photo just makes me uncomfortable. What? Who is pouring that? Is someone just like stood on the bar pouring? But if if so, I want to be at that club where they're just giving away free alcohol. That little bit of that little bit of alcohol there would be like eight pounds in London, and I'm not I'm not even joking. I bought no, I went to this fucking place in uh in like Waterloo, and there was like there was like a few people with me. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get shots. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna get shots. I'm drunk. I'm gonna get shots. Maybe they're what like it's five pounds each. There was like four of us. I was like, ah, that's that sound. That sound. I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Nine pounds a shot. It was nine pounds a shot. Nine. Nine. Oh, no, this is art. This this photo right here, that is art. They caught the exact moment. That, how does that happen? How does that just, how does that just happen? How does your tooth just just like spontaneously fall out of your mouth? That is art. It's quite scary. Like I always have nightmares about my teeth falling out. So that, that's that's quite scary to me. I don't know how that just happens. Yeah, again in London, that that's like thirty quid. Yeah, you just you just know these two woke up the next day with a lot of deep regret. Has she been kissing anyone in this group? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, you see, this is like this is like a club dweller old man that this is like the club to where as you know normally they're a bit older and they normally just sit in silence they just lurk they sit in, they sit in like the corner and they just they just sit and lurk and and watch the watch the girl watch the 18 year old girls in the club he's about to fucking slam her on the ground why is he why is he holding her like that yeah no that that is that's that's my exact facial reaction too that's just grim as well like your phone has so much bacteria on it like, i saw someone lick their phone the other day to clean it like what what are you do? You're gonna get ill. You're gonna get so ill. Bro, what, what are you doing? What? <laughs> Or has come straight from the board of directors meeting. <laughs> what is he doing? He's got his top bone up still. I, I love how the floor is just ca fucking caved in. Yet no one cares. There's people just stood on the still on the ledge next to it. No one's gone to like, a different bar or anything. They just they, they just they just don't care. No, that this is this is not a photo of me. I've been sent this photo so many times. Like, oh George, is this you, is this you at the club? I saw you at the night. It's not me. It's not me. I'm not even that short. All right. I'm almost average height. Almost. All right. He's he's holding a bottle of something. Oh no, he's he's with the boys and he and he's drunk. He's very drunk. They're holding him up. Oh, he's fucked. Oh, he's out of it. He's, I don't know how he hasn't been kicked out yet, but I hope he ha had a wonderful night. She was definitely like very, very, well, obviously very, very drunk. Went to the photographer. Hey, I got a really cool trick. Can you take a photo of this and put and put this on the the Dub All or Nothing Facebook page, please? People will think I'm so epic. Oh, uh, okay. Snobs Birmingham, where where the, nothing good has ever happened at Snobs Birmingham. <laughs> This is probably the best thing to happen. This is probably the best event to ever happen at Snobs Birmingham. <laughs> Let's spot the other one out. Oh, okay, okay. I wasn't even looking at the guy doing drugs. I was looking at like these guys are all like 18. He's like he's like 40. I wasn't even looking at that guy. And I can't even show him because he's doing drugs. I can't show him. There he is, happy. Poor guy. You know, he he's just been caught off guard there. He hasn't posed for that photo at all. He's been caught so off guard. And now uh, 282,000 people have liked that photo of him. Poor fucking guy. You see, this one's not that bad. I do, I've done that so many times. Like I I, I went to a, a screen of Spider-Man because I did a brand deal with Spider-Man because I look at look, that's my I did a brand deal for the Spider-Man movie because I'm 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 really good at 
I'm brandable. Brands, please sponsor me. And I sat down. And I forgot I had something in my hand. And I went to like reach for something. I just poured like an entire fucking drink down me. So I sat watching. I think it's like a two and a half hour long Spider-Man film. Just, just moist. And it, it was it was quite uncomfortable. How would you go about getting your fist out of out of her, her mouth? How, how would you... I mean, that probably sounds like a stupid question, but, like, you know, it's like the thing of, like, you can put a light bulb in your mouth, but you can't take it out. That's an actual thing. How's he... How's he gonna... How's, how's he gonna... Why do that? That's just mean. That's just mean. She's just je she, she's just jealous because she's not having a photo taken of her. Actually, no, he's not a club dweller. He's too confident to be to be the club dweller. He's the life and soul of the party. Also, by the looks of this, this is like a corporate event. This is like this is like a, a, a company Christmas do or something like that. Now this is a classic, but once again, I don't know why the club would upload this. Why why would you upload bad not I mean not bad, but just like like awkward weird photos? Why would you do that, nightclubs? Parliament. M I know there mu there must be an MP watching this video maybe i don't know M an mp if you're watching this video i want you to push through legislation to ban nightclub photographers i don't normally go to clubs because i think they're wretched places but if, if i do for some reason go to one i'm always actively avoiding the the photographer because they shouldn't just be allowed to take pictures of you and upload to their facebook page without your permission that's insane that's an insane proposition so i would like to propose that we just ban it we ban the practice please write to your local mp and get them to ban nightclub photographers all right thanks for what all right, hello, I'm back. It's a few days later. Why did I stop recording? None of your business. It's my channel. I'll do what I want. How do you even achieve that? Is, did she try to jump over? How do you achieve that? That is true friendship. Never leaving a man behind. Although, <laughs> what is this? What is this uh, fit? You can tell this is from like, like 2012, 2013, just because of the shirts. How as a society did we let this drip become acceptable? And not even just like acceptable. Like he, he's, he's getting with a girl here with that drip, with that fit. But miracles do happen. I mean, I gotta ask, why was the photographer taking a photo of them with like just a load of blank space on like the right side not a very good photographer but he did he did capture uh this this moment was this planned i think this one was staged ah oh, poor guy but i mean you deserve it for buying bottles at a club. if you buy bottles at a club you are a wanker there's no doubt about that you're a, you're a massive twat and i found out the other day it's not just like really expensive shit clubs like the ones in mayfair that, that let you buy bottles you can buy bottles in like prism and stuff who buys a bottle in prism get them sectioned immediately and i'm pretty sure like the prison would charge like 200 pounds for a bottle or something I'm gonna have a look at this. How much are bottles in Prism? It doesn't say, but I, I remember like years ago when I when I used to go to Prism, they were like it was really expensive. I mean, it's always like a massive markup. I, I, it was at least like seventy pound for a bottle of Smirnoff. Why? Why would you pay that? I know that like drinks are still like fucking expensive and marked up to shit. Still, I, I would refuse to outright pay seventy pound for a bottle of Smirnoff. This is me when I finally am allowed to leave the club and go to the kebab shop and get cheesy chips, and then go home. Right, anyway, guys, we're gonna leave it there for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.